Leslie, what will you look for in the debate on Wednesday? As Sanders runs away from the mainstream, what will you listen for? Well, we're, we're all looking for the same thing, which is who is that other candidate going to be from the moderate wing of the Democratic Party? So in, in some ways, you know, it's it's sort of less uh, interesting in terms of being game changing what Sanders has to say, because he, he seems to be clearly taking the lead. But despite, you know, the poll that you've just n noted, um, he has uh, seemingly been hitting, you know, a, a ceiling of 26 percent. If he can't really sustainably push above that, it becomes even more important to see who will capture uh, the moderate side. And, and obviously right. all eyes, if this is true, if Bloomberg does debate, we will all be watching to see um, how that's received. You know, well, Leslie, I hope in London this weekend you explained a couple times that there were two presidential birthdays, the 12th and the 22nd, even though we have a manufactured president's holiday, which we of course know is a <laughs> fiction. I hope you'll explain that uh, as well. But Leslie, what this comes down to is our process. And the process now is in search of a middle ground Democratic Party candidate. Are we being underserved because others are not dropping out of the race or does that wait for after Nevada or after South Carolina? Well, I think really uh, a lot's going to come down to Super Tuesday. And the question there is, you know, will the moderate wing of the Democratic Party continue to split the votes? Yes. Well, it depends on who you are, right? If you are Michael Bloomberg, the fact that the moderates are splitting the vote right now, that there's not a very clear alternative to Sanders is a very good thing, um, which is, of course, why waiting until Super Tuesday when things really do matter um, is significant. So I think we're looking at, you know, not knowing a lot until potentially even the middle of March, March 18th. Um, but, but arguably having so many candidates in the race, it's certainly been a game-changing uh, element. We don't know a lot on the back of Iowa and New Hampshire. Um, so we don't know a lot because a lot of people are undecided. So do debates actually make or break candidates? Well, they, they, they matter. I don't think that they've made or broken candidates yet. I do think that, um, again, uh, Michael Bloomberg's um, entry into this debate is significant. People haven't been watching him debate. They don't really know exactly what he's going to say, and they haven't seen him next to the alternatives. This is, I think, going to be a very significant moment. Um, Leslie, what do, I mean, the Democratic Party, I guess, has to choose whether they go for a centrist or someone who, who's not a centrist, right, who's more left-wing. Do, do, do we know if it will be tactical voting of people that will just want to try and beat President Trump? And if that's the case, who has a better chance of beating President Trump? Is it a centrist or a left-wing? Yeah, so this is an incredibly important question. Um, whether or not Democrats will <clears throat> ultimately unite around a candidate becomes, because it becomes more, win to def more important to them to defeat Donald Trump. What we're hearing out of the African-American community of voters is that that is something that is of, of incredible significance, is choosing a candidate that can defeat the sitting president. Um, but it's not so much that people are undecided. I think those who are progressives in the Democratic Party are pretty committed. Mm -hmm. The question is what they'll do um, if and when, which seems, at least to me, likely that a moderate candidate will, will take center stage.